Hi all, King Joe here with another unboxing. Well, Sports Illustrated came in the mail today. Justice League number 24, Forever Evil. I bought this at Walmart, Transformers Rescue Bot, Optimus Prime. And this came in the mail. Cost them $10 and a penny for postage. Now, This was shipped from Texas. I paid for this on the 9th of October. He charged me $17.50 to mail it. He actually sent it out on... Hey, date, date received. Uh, let's see, 10-17. Now, I ain't too happy with the shipping charge here because 10-17, I paid for it on the 9th. Yes, I love Star Sapphire. And she's opened, which is not, she's not screwed in anywhere. And get in there. It's like her boot does not want to go in that. Okay, hallelujah. And there is Star Sapphire. Might as well show you. I won my case against the dealer for that Wonder Woman. So, yay. Go put her in the case. I'll show you what the wall looks like because I managed to insulate it, bore it yesterday, and I can understand why my back is still screaming after acupuncture today. We're going to go for a, a little bit of... I moved the slab that used to have the wood burner on in front of the fireplace. Because I found out it was just a slab that wasn't cut around where the rug was, so that was good. I got some wood around because I have to build shelves for that wall yet. I moved that because I have to build a wall in two. But here's, I got three of my bookshelves up along this wall where the wood burner used to be. Now it's cinder blocked in. My bookshelves are there. I got three of them. I moved my drafting table over there. And I don't know, let's see where I can f put Star Sapphire for the time being. Because I got all the parts for the cabinet in the hole. I'll just stick her up here for now. So I'll stick her for now until I get a row open and all my Anakami girls will go in one row. Because it'll be like. The Justice League and some of the statues, Women of the DC Universe bust, probably all the Anakami stuff on that shelf. That shelf there I'll probably put like the online and then some of the bigger other statues like the Kota Bakia stuff and then miscellaneous statues down there on the bottom. But all those Steeler statues are going to end up going 
and to that wall. Because I ended up buying their lights for that cabinet when it gets built. Those lights cost me 100 bucks. Today when I got two pieces of plexiglass, that cost me $130 for that cabinet and that's going to go there. But when it's all said and done, my, my basement should start looking halfway decent. It's actually starting because once a, a lot of this stuff's got to go in the attic of the garage, so this will be cleared out. Then if I get rid of that furniture and buy two futons, I won't need the bed down here or any of that. So I'll have like a nice little area there, a nice little area there. My little one can have a tumbling area. She actually wants an air hockey table, so... But all that stuff will be off the bar too eventually. It'll be put up top over there or on top of the cabinets when they're over there. But that's what's going on so far in the King Joe's life. And as always, I thank you guys for viewing and subscribing.